Hey guys, it's me. I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but that's because I've just been trying to figure everything out. <sighs> HR finally got it together, so I finally have all my paperwork. Well, before I even start talking or before I go on, let me just say the reason why I'm under the covers is because it's May here in Italy and it's freezing cold. So like I've got like layers upon layers on top of me because I'm freezing. I thought it was gonna be hot here in Italy, so I didn't really bring that many winter clothes, but like, it's cold. Like, I'm gonna get hypothermia or pneumonia, honest to God. It's so cold. So sometimes I can't wait to just come home and just slip under the covers because it's so cold. Okay, so let me see what I've been doing so far. Basically, same thing. I finally um, really started work now that I have most everything I need from HR. Um, so I'd say I'm like 99.9% .9 good. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to fill you in. Um, I guess the main things are housing, car. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with a car. That's the end of that topic. Housing. I need to find a house because I only have X amount of days to be in the hotel. That's just how the rules and regulations work. So I need to find a house and I've had great realtors. I have one realtor who found, it was a really cool like rooftop house. The house had a really massive rooftop, rooftop and you could see the lake. Uh, so I really like the house, and there was another really another nice house I really liked over by NATO, but sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not, so I don't know what's going to happen with that one. <sighs> Excuse me. And then a few days ago, I discovered another one, which is fully furnished, which is wonderful, because when I was coming out here, I was told, oh, you're going to Italy, you shouldn't buy furniture, because you don't know how... Uh, what the size of the home is going to be. You don't want to get something too big or something too small. So all I really have are like the basics. Um, I didn't splurge on like furnishing the house because I was told not to. And plus I was told that the furniture was really nice in Italy. So why would you buy uh, furniture in the U.S. when you can get better furniture in Italy? So I didn't really splurge on that. So I found a really nice home the other day. So now I have to decide which home will I be getting during my stay here in Italy since I run out of time here in the hotel. You only have, like I said, you only have X amount of days and I've been here more than 30 days so far. So why is this piece of hair sticking up? You guys see that piece of hair sticking up on my head? Huh. Anyways, so that's housing. So I'm trying to figure that out. So it talks about the car, it talks about housing. What else? Oh, I took a cooking class the other day. For those of you who are friends, you saw some pictures regarding that on Facebook and perhaps in my WhatsApp status. So that was really cool. Learned how to make an Italian dish called, I'm going to say it wrong, but gnocchi or gnocchi. I think it's gnocchi. G-N-O-C-C-H-I. And basically it's like a noodle. So we learned how to make it from scratch. You mix this flour dough and then like you roll it with your fingers and then you go like this. It's like you pull back and it curls. And then you put it, I believe we boiled it like in really hot water. And then we also made the stews for the different types of gnocchis. Gnocchi? I think it's gnocchi. And um, yeah, and so that was a really cool class. And so they gave us all kinds of stuff. Uh, we got some of the flour because there were different sponsors for it. So we got two containers of flour and they also gave us a bottle of wine because, you know, we're in Italy, right? So it was really nice. And we went to a place called, uh, what was the name of the place? I don't want to get the name of the place wrong. But anyways, it was really cool. Sponsored by USO. So for those of you who may be coming to Italy, make sure you check out the USO tours. Yes, uh, I mean... The prices vary, but I think this one was worth it. So I did that a few days ago just to get out of the hotel because I really like never leave the hotel at all. I'm just not bold and daring yet. Mm. Did I tell you guys that I went to Naples a few weeks ago? Like, I mean, that's where I am. Like I went to the city because I was trying to find a church and I could never find the church. Like really, the church should have just come and picked me up, I think, or met me halfway. I'm, I'm new to the area. How do you expect me to find your church? Anyway, so as I was trying to find this church, it took me forever, I never found it, and I ended up along, like, the coast 
of Naples. So at least I've seen that and I've seen some of the touristy attractions there. But there's a lot to see in Naples. I don't, you can't do it in one weekend. I don't think you can do it in a month. It's gonna take lots of time for me to truly see what's in the heart of Naples. So I'll continue doing that. Now that I know how to use the bus system, I feel confident in that. So I've talked about the car. I've talked about housing, job. I'm sitting with some really cool people. So I like my office, that's good. Um, what else? Those are the main things. I mean, I haven't traveled. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm just here trying to get situated. I'm waiting for my stuff. I'm waiting for my arrival of goods. I feel like that's going to happen very, very soon because if you know anything about how the system works, you send your express shipment and then your household shipment and then any other shipment you may have. So... That's pretty much it for this video. So I'm gonna end this video, okay? If I think of anything else that I wanna share, I'll just make another video. How does that sound? Good? Okay, great.